Hey, it's Trish, and this is Fold of the Week, a show where I share powerful print marketing ideas to help you achieve success on any budget. Well, I love envelopes, and I think they're a powerful marketing tool, but if you don't have the time, access, or budget for them, what can you do? This week, I've got five ways to imitate an envelope in a self-mailing format, so let's take a closer look. Today's concept is the Fovelope, and the idea is to create a mailer that looks like an envelope on the outside, but ultimately opens and deconstructs as one piece. This is a really great example for a special event invitation. They modified the panels of a classic crossfold and added a shimmery insert and reply envelope. Also note the smart rectangular proportion for better mailing rates. I'm bringing this design back from episode 583. This is a self-mailer that looks just like an envelope, flaps, seams, and all, and features a variable personalized content letter and tear-off coupon. I really like the use of the full-color photos on the exterior and the custom-shaped tab on the flap. Here's another great Fovelope coupon mailer with a simpler configuration, basic curved corners on the flap to open, and then fold down to reveal a short pocket with the loose coupon placed inside. This was produced entirely in line and machine automated for long run mail production. Further simplifying, let's remove the pocket and coupon and make a basic pointed flap as the opening mechanism. This is easy to open, simple, and overall a nice design. This one definitely is more of a hybrid between a traditional self-mailer and an envelope, but the opening flap has an envelope vibe for sure. Lastly, the simplest solution I'll share is one that doesn't even involve a die cut. Think of this one like an oversized four panel roll fold with the cover panel shortened to an envelope flap and fugitive glued to close. This is a neat solution for higher ed with the personalized letter on the inside left as you open and bold graphics as you roll it out. It really looks like an oversized full color printed envelope in the mail. For me, what's most encouraging about these examples is that there's something for every budget, whether you can afford die cutting and hand folding, or if you need something simple and machine folded. Always good to have options. A very special thanks to the creators of the samples featured in this episode for sharing their solutions with us. If you've ever been inspired by something you've seen on the show, please consider folding it forward and sharing your work too. If you're looking for more ideas, downloads, and templates, visit foldfactory.com. And remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.